Hey there, Touchboards Nation. Welcome to the first in our educational videos. Today we're going to talk about the differences between a whiteboard and a short throw projector and an LCD screen. Right now, board and projector. As you can see, we've got our board here. If you've watched any of our videos, you've probably seen it before. It's our Eno board. And up above it, we have our steel case short throw projector, uh, ultra short throw actually. Uh, so what's the deal with board and projector? Well, when it first started out, you had your board on the wall and you had your projector way off in the middle of the room or the back of the room. You've probably all seen that. You walk up here as a teacher, as an instructor, you cast a huge shadow and you're staring at light. Like, we don't even have those kind of projectors here anymore because we've got these. So with an ultra short throw or even a short throw projector, you mount it up above your board. It's gonna cast uh, light at a very steep angle uh, down onto your board here. And as you can see, I can stand in front of it and not cast a shadow. So as the instructor, I can see the board and my audience can see the board. Now that's not to say there are no shadows because there are, just look, you can see my hand there. But if I want to click on short throw projectors, I can touch that. My arm is covering up the shadow. Even somebody sitting behind the camera, you know, they might see that shadow, but everybody's focused on what I'm pointing at. So who cares? And even for my head to cast a shadow, I have to be standing like this. So whatever shadows are being cast are really not getting in the way. Even if you have a short throw projector, which might stick out another foot or so from where this projector is, I might stand here and you maybe see a shadow of my head on the bottom of the board. So it's really not a big deal. We recommend this setup for all interactive whiteboards, whether it's on a wall or mobile, we can do it on either way. Uh, the only catch is you're gonna need kind of a tall ceiling. You need about nine foot ceiling to make this fit. If you have a little bit lower ceiling, maybe eight and a half, we can make that work as well. Once you get to eight foot, it's a little tricky, but give me a call, we might be able to figure it out. But as long as you've got a nine foot or higher ceiling, no problem at all with a short throw projector. Again, you're gonna have great shadow reduction. Everybody's gonna be able to see your board and it's gonna be a much more enjoyable experience for everyone. So now let's move on to an LCD screen. And here is an interactive LCD screen. As the name suggests, it's a, basically a TV. There's no projector anywhere. This is what it is. Uh, because it's an LCD screen, the image is coming from this. It's not being projected onto it, it's coming out from it. So light isn't so much of an issue. It's making its own light. And uh, the image doesn't get drowned out so much and there's no shadows. I can wave my hand in front of it. I can touch my hand to it. No shadowing whatsoever. Again, the image is coming out to us, not being projected onto it. So like an interactive whiteboard, your LCDs will need a computer. I've got mine right here. There's a laptop plugged into it. And the LCD is allowing me to control this computer. So I can just scroll up and down like so. I can click on links. I can do anything that I can do with my computer. I can now do up here at the display. So unlike the whiteboards, you don't have the shadowing. These are also a little bit smaller than whiteboards, so you gotta take that into account. However, they're available in a wide variety of sizes and they're becoming more and more affordable every day. So personally, I recommend LCD screens. I think whiteboards are great, but compared to this, where you don't have to worry about a projector, in general, you don't have to worry about a projector. You don't have to buy lamps for the projector. You don't have to turn it on or worry about who's turning it off or whatever. It doesn't exist with these just not there. You want to turn it off? Push the button, turn it off. 